Steve, thank you. Right now, right now, demanding answers after panicky moments on a wild school bus ride. The brakes apparently failed on the ride home from Spanish River High School. Jeff Skrypek is live tonight with the video and the tough questions you'll see only on Five. Jeff. Well, Kelly and Michael, tonight parents and students wondering if these Palm Beach County School District buses are safe to ride in. These questions coming up tonight after one of these buses loses brakes and these tense moments were all captured right here on a cell phone video camera. Moments of terror as a 40 foot long school bus zooms down a busy road in Boca Raton, moving against traffic without any way to stop. That it was a very scary moment. I was so nervous about everything that went that was going on. Nadia Williams was on that bus along with her three other friends heading home from Spanish River High School. They spoke to us with the permission of their parents, telling us there was first a noise, then smoke, then a breakless freefall down Glades Road. We're trying to get help, and everyone's honking in other cars. Everyone's honking and waving at us like we're playing a joke or something. Watch as the bus driver dodges car after car, flying down the wrong way of the road, helpless and horrified. Oh, I, I really thought we were going to kill somebody. But no one miraculously was hurt. After a mile, the bus driver eventually brought the bus to a halt by rubbing its tires against the curb. I don't know what we're going to do about taking the bus home from now on because if that's the, if that's the way the buses are kept, it's a problem. The school district released this statement. The bus driver took the proper corrective action in order to bring the bus to a full stop. The brake malfunction is under investigation. The girls, meanwhile, credit their bus driver for their lives. She was telling us, like, calm down, we're going to be fine, don't worry. And the fact she did what she did is better than I could hope for. And I'm happy she did what she did. Now, while this isn't the bus that was involved in today's accident, it was taken to a similar bus depot for further investigation. And we asked the district tonight about how often they inspect their buses. And an employee told us every 28 days, the state, though, mandates once a month. Reporting live tonight in suburban West Palm Beach, Jeff Scrypack, WPTV News Channel 5.